So you're thinking about moving to West Milford, New Jersey? Well, here are some tips for you if you're thinking about purchasing or selling a home in West Milford, New Jersey. My name is Matt Defeaty, and I'm with Realty Executives Elite Homes, and I have some very firsthand personal knowledge about West Milford, New Jersey. In 2002, I built my first home up there in West Milford, and I owned a couple since then, but let's go over some of the pros and cons about living in West Milford, New Jersey. So the one thing is, West Milford is located in the northern part of Passaic County, right near Sussex County. So it really does not have a lot in common with Clifton. It has a lot more open space. It has a lot of lake communities up there. It borders New York State. And you have Upper Greenwood Lake and Greenwood Lake. If you're a fan of fishing and boating in the summertime, or if you just want a beautiful lakefront home, what a great view. You can find it up there. So the one thing, of course, the lakefront homes are at a premium, and they're gorgeous. And there's a bunch of different lakes you can live on. Like I said, Greenwood, Upper Greenwood Lake, uh, Pine Cliff Lake. There's a bunch of other little lakes out there you can, you know, move to. It depends. Some you can boat on. Some you can't have, you know, uh, gasoline engines. You have to have electric motors. It all depends. So you got to check on that when you're purchasing a property up there in West Milford. Uh, I got some notes here. So price ranges in West, West Milford can be anywhere from, a 200,000 log cabin to a $2 million, you know, 5,000 square foot home with like several acres worth of property, depending on what you're looking for. But the one thing I'm going to tell you is you're probably about a good 38 or 30 to 40 miles from New York City. So if you're going to be commuting into New York City every day, it may not be a great place to live if you're going to commute. If you can deal with an hour and a half, each way going back and forth into the city, then okay. But if not, then West Milford may not be the type of place for you. If you're looking for a secondary lake home, it's a great spot if you live in New York City. And if you want to get away for the weekends, then West Milford may be a great town for you. All right. So the average price in West Milford right now, now let me go back a little bit because there's two parts to West Milford. There's what they call Lower West Milford and Upper West Milford, up the mountain. So you have Hewitt, which is part of West Milford Township, and you have West Milford, which is West Milford Township. But it's all the same, but two different zip codes. Depending on where you are, even though you're in West Milford, the price of your home may vary. So if we look at the median price home, let's say in lower West Milford, it's about $384,000 with an average day on market of about 64 days. That's the lower part of West Milford, which is 07480. That's that zip code. If you go to Hewitt, the average price range is about $352,000, with an average price range of 50, or an average days on market of 57 days. And you're looking at two different types of living there. A majority of the homes in West Milford have septic and well. Uh, the lower portion of West Milford, some areas like at Crescent Park, they have sewer, and some have public gas, depending on how close you are. Um, now, if you live in Upper West Milford, you have a 15-minute ride to Route 23. If you live in Lower West Milford, it may be a five-minute ride. That's the difference there. So you have Hewitt, and you have West Milford. Like I said, Greenwood Lake. Some of the beautiful luxury lakefront homes are on Greenwood Lake, and there are some in Upper Greenwood Lake also. But if you're going to be commuting, like I said, each day to West Milford, it's a bit of a ride. You're looking at an hour and a half, you know, into the city at minimum. And during rush hours, it could be a little longer depending on traffic. I remember sitting in traffic sometimes. It took me two hours to get back home from uh, northern New Jersey. And I was, you know, maybe in Newark or something like that. But it all depends on what your lifestyle is. If you like big open space and you want a bigger house for less money, then West Milford is your type of place. If you're looking for a lakefront property, then West Milford is definitely your type of place. And then you go up Warwick Turnpike, and you're five minutes within the New York State border, which is Warwick, New York, which is a great little town, by the way. Uh, maybe we'll do a feature on that one day also. Uh, those are the pros and cons about living in West Milford. So if you're planning on moving up there, plan on traveling. Unless you work from home, then you got it made. And if you have any more questions about living in West Milford, 
I'm Matt Tafiti with Realty Executives Elite Homes.